Yep, so badass entrance, right? Now, despite the cringy entrance, I want you all to know one thing. You are a fucking badass. You're attractive. You're handsome. I don't know what you look like. Oh, I'm gonna have fucking boobs from this lighting. But you probably aren't unattractive. Okay. Now, how I know that? Well, you look at guys, most people, people think about looks and such. Now, most people aren't ugly. Oh my god, it's a shock. I guarantee you say you're ugly, you're fucking not. So stop shitting on yourself. You're probably just average. I hate to say it, but I'm honest. You're probably average, and there's nothing wrong with being average in looks. Um, but before I shit, like I shit a storm on you, my viewer, I'm doing this because I love you. I want you to thrive. I want you to fucking succeed in dating. I wish somebody would have told me this. A long time ago. I learned it on my own. After I've chatted up. I got into working out. I lost a lot of weight. I got a fucking nice looking face and shit now. I want to tell you this. You're sitting there. And you're wondering. Why don't I have a girlfriend? Why don't... Why don't I have a girlfriend? Why aren't girls like asking me out and... Oh my god. I don't, I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have a girl to go and eat dinner with or like watch a movie with you know why you don't have a fucking girlfriend because you fucking you, you don't take risks you're sitting there in your gaming cave you're sitting there playing video games you're stuck to your pc and you're like why well, don't i have a girlfriend why because you're sitting there and you're waiting for some fucking girl in shining armor i don't know what you want to say to come out of nowhere and swoop you up no you know how semi-average and like below average looking guys land girls you know how they put themselves out there they do they fucking do and the more you put yourself out there you go and cold approach you ask a girl for a number or you just say you think she's beautiful and you just want to know her name or whatever you ask for a number you do that you ask for their number you compliment them you get a conversation going then you ask for their number okay like, don't be an asshole. Don't be like, you're a... I want to fuck you so fucking hard, and I want your number. No, don't be a fucking loser. That's how you turn off... That's how you find the wrong type of girl. Okay? But, I just want you to know that, guys. You gotta fucking take a risk. Excuse my language, but I care about this a lot. You have to take a risk. And that's what I've been doing lately. I have. And you know what? I'm fucking confident as a motherfucker. You know why? Because girls actually dig me. And I learned that. I learned that I'm attractive. And I have this confidence. I look in the mirror and I'm like, fuck. I've come so fucking far. I've lost the weight. I got girls saying I look like a fucking model with my shirt off and shit. Which isn't really true. That isn't true. That is not true. I look like, I feel like I have boobs. But they're not boobs. But it's like, I've come so far. And I want you all to be confident. I want you all to be safe and comfortable in your own skin. Now, I'm wearing a hat. Okay, I'm not balding. But the camera, it makes me, my face looks so crooked at this angle. My ca my camera makes me, it makes my hairline because of the angle and the way my face is shaped. It makes my hairline look like it's far back. And then the other side is like forward. It looks so weird. I That's why I don't show my hair, my hairline. Because it looks fucking weird. Really weird. But like IRL, it doesn't. Because I've asked and no, no one's told me anything. And my mom hasn't said anything about it. And I look in the mirror and it's symmetrical. But the point is, you guys are worth it. Stop sitting around. Stop sitting around being, you know, if you're looking for a girlfriend or something. Or dates or whatever. Stop being idle. Put yourself out there. Take a risk. The worst she can say is no. Or she has a boyfriend. How are you to know that she had a boyfriend? How are you to know? You're not supposed to know. You're not so, unless he's sitting there right there. Don't be a fucking asshole and do it in front of him. Like you just got to take a risk, guys. And rejection is a part of reality. You have to accept it. Otherwise, you're going to be a lonely bastard. Unless you take the first piece that comes to you. And usually the girl that comes to you out of desperation isn't as super attractive. 
and looks aren't very important to me, but desperation and things like that, they're a turn off to me. Like the one girl, she was fucking insecure as fuck about her weight. Okay, like really insecure about it. And that was a huge turn off kinda. Very like but it's like you guys just gotta take a risk. And I guarantee anyone anyone, any guy out there, I don't care if you're fucking not okay looking, like you look like you've been through it. You can still probably land a number. Maybe. Eventually you will. But I don't say, I'm not going to say every time. No one lands a number every time. No one. You know why? Because rejection. And also, like I said, someone might have a boyfriend. But if you really want to be jazzy and an asshole, you can talk and be like, hey, how about you just hit me up when you break up? Once he breaks your heart, you hit me up. Some girls, they respect that too. I mean, they maybe they want to hit you up once that they break up with that guy. But it's fucked up. But I might try that. I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do that. I'm not stealing any advice a girlfriend. That almost, this one girl wanted me to take her and like fucking take her home and shit. I was like, fuck no. Stop looking at me, bitch. Your boyfriend's right there. You're fucking standing beside me. Inching close and just fucking staring at me like in my face. I just, you just look off in the distance. You just fucking don't pay attention to those people. Because I'm standing in line, right? In the subway. No, fuck that shit. I ain't going to be taking you and getting my ass kicked by some fat dude. Fuck that shit. But it's like shit, guys. Anyone. And I'm telling you this from the bottom of my heart. When I was literally the the mixed, like the brown Napoleon Dynamite. Even then, I had girls hitting on me. That's fucking crazy. Because I used to fucking play around with like swords and like lightsabers and shit. Not actual lightsabers, but like the, um, what's it called? What do you call that shit? The bamboo sticks? My brother and I would like sword fight with them. We would get these choreographed fights and such. But it's like, I had girls hitting on me back then. And it's like, that was a shock. But back then, I wasn't interested in looking for somebody. Now I am. Because I'm not, I have less stress in my life. So I can focus on new adventures and experiences. I'm young. Let me enjoy my life. I haven't enjoyed it. Really, I've only focused on myself most of my life. I've dealt with a lot. So, yeah. But at the end of the day, guys, I just want you to know, you got to put yourself out there. I promise, like, start with baby steps, okay, see, yesterday I had a breakthrough, see, the first two dates that I had girls set up, the first one was blonde, okay, and I don't think she was really looking for a relationship, but she really, really liked me, but she was super shy and super insecure about her weight to the point that it was just like, wow, the second girl, she, both of them never have been in dates, so she didn't have any experience. But she thought that a second date means I want a relationship with you. No, it means I want to get to know you. So that freaked me out when she said that. And looking back, I realized she didn't reject me. She just was inexperienced. And it freaked me the fuck out. Because it just scared the hell out of me. But, like, once you go on dates, you're going to become really confident. Like, it'll, your confidence will go up. But, really, your confidence comes from within. It has to. You know, someone like me, I do. I love... Everyone loves external ad ad admiration. I know I do. I love when girls say that I'm attractive. Or the woman at a supermarket, she said had a nice chest, which was fucking crazy. She said that to me and I was muscular. And then you got girls saying that you're muscular and you're handsome. That shit fucking help. That It helps your confidence. But you got to work on that shit by yourself. Now, I don't know how I've become so fucking confident. I used to be the fucking nerd that would get hit on and just like shy away and just, I'm not that anymore. I'm not. I'm still a nerd, but I'm not shy. I'm not bashful. I'm not afraid. I know I'm the shit. So I'm going to be the shit. Doesn't mean I'm going to fucking sleep around with 12 different girls at one time. Fuck that shit. If I'm dating somebody, I'm focusing on them. Just because you can fucking sleep around doesn't mean you should, unless that's what you're looking for. If you are, well, you're a fucking loser in my opinion. Why would you want to just sleep around? Sleeping around is like basically masturbation. I mean, come on. You want to have someone you can spend time with and have fun with and also have sex with. But like fun with and that's what I'm looking for. It's just the fun, you know, the company and like going to the movies and long walks and shit. That stuff is really what hits me, you know. So it's like, 
I just got to tell you guys this because you have to fucking put yourself out there. And once you do, you're going to change. I'm telling you, you'll probably end up finding a girlfriend or not. But it's like, try not to do blind dates unless you're super bashful. Like to the point where you can't talk to a girl. Do that if you can get a blind date. Only because that's what I did and it fucking opened me up out of the shell. On the first blind date I went on, the first blind date, first date ever, I was so fucking nervous but the girl was fucking nervous as hell she was blushing she was fucking she couldn't look at me she she had her apparently one of her nails broke she couldn't show me her nails because she would hide her hands she wouldn't eat her food i fucking felt like confident from that kind of but then i later on heard that she said that was like super hot and then i had a nice chest and like nice arms and shit and i was really tall because i am tall i'm six three so that really fucking made me feel like holy shit an IRL, a girl in real life said that about me. She really said that. And that was like, holy fuck. Wow. I am attractive. I am. And it just makes you feel so confident once you get into a relationship or you go on dates because you're like, wow, I actually can land a girl. And I'm telling you guys, once you ask a girl for her number or whatever, you don't have to have game. I landed dates that I don't really have game. I kind of do now, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be a manipulative piece of shit. I ain't a douchebag. What you do is you just lower the stakes, brother. Lower the stakes. When you're talking to the girl, you're going to be nervous. She's nervous too. Lower the stakes. Okay. She isn't your wife. She isn't going to be your wife. You know, at the end of the day, you're going on a date because you're trying to eliminate people that aren't compatible with you. That is true. Don't impress anybody. Be yourself because it saves so much time and heartache on both sides. Please be yourself. Now, if you're a narcissistic piece of shit, uh, be that. If that's just who you are, be that. You'll find somebody eventually. It might be a one-sided relationship, but you'll find somebody. There's a lot of girls out there that love being abused emotionally. They fucking love it because that's all they've known. And gentlemen, you know, younger girls, I guess, are into nice guys, good guys. I'm a good guy, okay? I'm not a nice guy. I'll say no. I disagree, and I'm not afraid to disagree with the girl, even if I think she's sexy or hot. I don't give a fuck, because that's just who I am. I have the confidence to disagree with somebody. You have to have that confidence to be yourself and respectfully, keyword respectfully disagree, okay? Do that, and I promise it'll save you so much time. You see, if you say yes to everything and, oh, yeah, you're a queen. And it's like, you don't even know this person. Second of all, you know, just, just please be yourself and, and don't be a nice guy. Okay. I used to be that and girls were still interested in me, but I was a nice guy <clears throat> only because I didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Guys and girls. Like if there was a guy that would insult me, I would be nice to him. If there was a girl that would maybe flirt or insult with me. I would kind of be more distant, but I wouldn't be mean. I would just kind of, like, ignore them. If that makes sense. Like, I've never been an asshole. A lot of people say that, assume that I am. And girls try to assume that, but I usually... I, I break that wall down real quick, because I'm a gentleman. I hold doors for women. I respect their boundaries. I'm not a creep. I respect people for who they are. I don't judge, especially on looks. Uh, your actions are far more... Far more powerful than your looks, in my opinion. I don't care if you're a 10. If I see you shitting on the waitress, not literally, but being an asshole to the waitress, a waiter, um, just doing dumb, mean, nasty shit, I'm not going to be attracted to you. Because there was a girl like that that was hitting on me. She literally had the balls to constantly talk to me. She would insult me. She'd be like, she'd fucking like hover over me. She would say shit to me. She was a 10. But... I didn't get to know her, but I just assumed that she was a bitch because that's kind of how she was portraying herself. She was a diva. So why would I want to be with the diva? You know, I'm not interested in that. I don't want someone. Sh There's a difference between being dominant out of love and being dominant because you're a piece of shit. I prefer the first one. 
Now, if I want someone to be dominant, I want them to be dominant out of love. Not out of, like, their personality is a piece of shit. Like, they hate, they want to treat you like shit because they just think you're a piece of shit. No, you know what I'm talking about. It's a difference. There's a difference. But, like, yeah, it's just, it's a lot, guys. And, uh, it's stressful. You know, no matter how attractive you are, um, you're going to be nervous when you go approach a girl. I was batshit nervous when I did it the first time. And I didn't ask for her number. But this time, this week, coming up, I'm going to ask a girl her number. I'm going to talk to him. You know, I'm going to ask him. I'm going to start it out smooth. You know, I'm going to be like, you know, excuse me. I thought you were cute. I just wanted to introduce myself, you know. And then I might wait for a response. Or they're all struck because most girls are all struck when they see me and they don't. And you approach them. They fucking just like, they give you this thousand yards there. And they open their mouths. And they're like, holy fuck. And you're still nervous. But you're like, wow, this girl's as nervous as I am. Damn. I feel like a fucking movie star. But like, guys, you gotta remember that. Girls are nervous too. They're humans. Treat them like one. Trust me. They'll respect you. I promise. The two girls that I've talked to, I went on dates with, they think I'm cool. Because I'm a gentleman. The first one, I accidentally said something out of desperation. You know, she said after two and a half weeks, she she said she didn't want to do the boyfriend thing. I guess she was just looking for more of like a hookup kind of situation I don't know but I was like do you know anyone who is looking for a boyfriend and she said apparently that did hurt her feelings I didn't mean it to but she wanted to be friends so I was just curious I'm not here to waste my time and buy you dinner and stuff if you don't want to actually be more than friends but yeah she still says I'm cool and it's like I'm not a bad guy I treat women with respect I uh you know and you guys, you want to, you don't want to be creepy, right? You don't, because you know, you, like I said, you want to approach a girl. You got to go out there and find one. They're not going to come to you. They may, but don't expect it. Girls don't approach me. They don't. They have before. Middle school and eighth grade, there was a girl. She was pretty attractive, pretty trashy, but she had her, she was all over me. Her and her best friend, her and her friend, they were kind of friends. They were both popular. They were all fucking over me. But see, I fumbled in the sense that I didn't ask for their snaps or their numbers. Or I did get their snaps, but I never asked them out. You know? I just fucking... I just thought they were like the coolest girls ever. I wasn't looking for a relationship back then. I wasn't thinking about it. But they were so fucking cool. I really liked their company. They treated me nice. They made me feel wanted. And they made me feel like a badass. Because you got this nerd with two girls beside him walking in school and two badass girls. So that made me feel like I was a shit. But it didn't at the same time. But like, I'm telling you guys, please, I'm begging you. You see an attractive girl. You see someone, you see, you know, she looks like she's not busy. She doesn't have her friend with her. Her her friend is with her, the other side of the store or wherever. She's not with her parents. Be like, you're going to be nervous. I'm telling you, this is how I sound. I went up to the girl, I was like, this is what you do. You can say this exact thing or something similar. It'll flow. You're, you're going to be really nervous. I'm telling you. Just fucking do it. Do it. I promise. You're going to make that girl's fucking weak. I promise. I promise. I swear. I don't care how unattractive you think you are or how attractive you really are. If you compliment a girl, she's going to fucking love it. You don't have to ask for her number. But she will love it. I'm telling you. You go, go up to him. You see him. You see an attractive girl. And if it's a 10, if she's a 10 in your books, extra props for you because that takes balls. I've done that. The first girl I've approached really to talk to, I I fucking, I was like, I've never talked to a girl like that. I did it. But what you do is you go up to him, you're like, you're going to be nervous. You'll be like, excuse me. Um, You'll be like, excuse me. And she'll be like, yes. And she'll be nervous. She'll be looking at you. She'll be nervous. You'll be like, I just want to say that I thought you 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 were really beautiful and um, something like that. And you, you just walk off after that. If you're too shy, or you could be like, "Excuse me," and then once they turn around, be like, "Be like, um, I thought you were really cute, and uh, I wanted to, um, you know, introduce myself." You could say something like that. You're going to be nervous, okay? Girls are nervous too. It's not a sign of weakness, especially you've come up to that point where you actually are talking to them. They know you're confident, but no matter how confident you are. You're going to be nervous. You're going to be. I don't care. 
you're going to be nervous. Unless you have like a wife or something and you know it doesn't fucking matter. Because at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter either way. But it's like, at that point, you know you're just playing shit games and it's like, it doesn't matter. But like, expect to be nervous. The girls are too. You're not the only thing that's nervous. They're human, just like you. And a lot of guys seem to forget that. And a lot of you guys as well, you don't have any dates because you don't put yourself out there and you think you're ugly. That's what I thought for the longest time. But in reality, I just hid away from the world. You know, I was doing online school. Uh, I was dealing with some shit at home. Uh, I had no girls, no maidens. That's different now, though. But, you know, you think you're ugly. You're not. You just don't put yourself out there. And I promise, please do it for my sake. It makes me happy to know that you're out there putting yourself out there. Please do it. Because there are so many girls out there. So many that ask themselves, and they're always on core Googling and question, why don't any guys ask me out? You know why? Because guys are afraid of rejection. And a lot of things are online these days. So when you go online, a girl, a woman, is getting mounds and mounds and mountains and glaciers and layers and layers of attention from random fucking guys. Okay. I mean so much. But when you go IRL and you treat a woman or a girl with respect and dignity and you show that you're interested in them, they will fucking probably just give your number and you might end up going on a date probably because they probably think you're interested. They probably are interested in you. And if they're not sure, well, they can get to know you on a date. But sadly, looks are a good part, part, excuse me, a good part of cold approaches because if the girl doesn't think you're super attractive, then they're going to probably not want to go out on a date with you, which is true. And that's okay. There are other girls out there. I promise. And, you know, it's stressful. But... I'm telling you, once you do it, like, <laughs> once you approach them, you're going to feel so good about yourself. Like, you're going to be nervous, okay? I swear to God. But without, if you never get, okay, if you do get rejected, remember this. The fact that you are getting rejected shows me not only are you putting yourself out there, but you're growing. Why? Because if you didn't put yourself out there, you wouldn't get rejected. That's simple. It's that simple. You're a fucking Chad for fucking asking a girl out. I don't care how unattractive you are. You're a Chad for actually talking to a girl and getting her number. You're a cool dude. Now, there's a difference between getting a girl's number and hitting on a girl that you think is fucking ugly. Fuck you. Go fuck yourself. You're a piece of shit, okay? Don't waste anybody's time, all right? There are attractive girls out there that have no fucking personality, there are a lot of unattractive girls out there who have no personality. It's a mixed bag. You just have to explore and fucking figure this shit out yourself. Okay, it's not a problem. You know, it's just... Don't expect the, the, the unattractive girl to be your soulmate. Okay? Now, same with the like 10 out of 10. You're probably not even going to talk to her. But at the end of the day, you and her could probably have a nice relationship. But you don't want to do that because you're too afraid. Don't be. Now, I want you all to know this. You need to work on yourself to the point where you're comfortable in your own skin. You take care of yourself. Just make sure you shower. If you're like me, you shave your face. I shave my face. I have some pimples break out from stress, I guess. I don't know what it was from the other day. Um, but acne, girls don't care too much about acne. But take care of your skin, guys. Take care of yourself. Eat healthy. Um, work out, walk around, if you've got a nice yard or a park, walk every day, um, dress decent, but dress in what you feel comfortable in. For me, that's like, I have a new pair of pants, which are cargo pants. They're gray cargo pants. And I wear it with my black shirt. Dress however you want to dress. I wear boots. Okay. That's how I dress. I tuck my, my, my pants, my, it's usually my boots or my cargo pants or my jeans or whatever into my boots. That's what I do. 
And I wear small shirts because I like to show my muscles. I don't wear baggy clothes. Dress how you want to dress. Don't change any of that for a girl. Don't change any of that for anyone. Even if you're wearing like makeup and like furry ears and shit. I don't approve of that, but just be yourself. Okay, please. Now, I'm going to make another video coming up soon. Okay, so you guys just know this. You are worth it. To the guys out there that are lonely and sad, don't be. Don't be. Put yourself out there. Don't, 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 don't rely on the dating apps. They're for shits and giggles. Even me, I don't really get that much attention from the dating apps. I don't. But IRL, I get so much attention from girls. A lot. To the point where it's like, fuck, I get stressed out and I just get stressed out. And it's like, but now I'm acting on it. If a girl's staring at me and looking at me and checking me out, I'm going to go talk to her. Fuck it. Why not? It doesn't have to be your wife. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be your wife. But like, you guys, you got to fucking talk to girls. You got to. Otherwise, you're never going to find anybody and you're going to die a lonely bastard. Okay. Or you're going to jump on the first girl that ever gives you any little bit of attention. And you're going to think that she loves the hell out of you. Despite not knowing who you are. Okay. So, put yourself out there. Stop being a little bitch. And enjoy life. Alright. I'm Audi 5000. I love you.